So we need to name all the sets of numbers to which each of these real numbers belongeth. All right, because some of you guys weren't paying attention, let's go through each of these. The first one is this natural number garbage. Natural numbers are numbers such as a one, two, three, four, and this goes on forever in this manner, in the same pattern. The next set of numbers are the whole numbers, which we represent with a W. The only difference between natural numbers and whole numbers is that we start with a zero, and then we have a one, and a two, and a three, and it goes on forever. The next set of values is the integers, which is represented by a nice I, a very fancy I. And it includes all of the whole numbers, such as 0, 1, 2, and so forth. But it also includes their opposites, like negative 1, negative 2, and so forth. The next set of numbers is rational numbers, which is represented by an R. It is not. It's just a really fancy R. And rational numbers are represented by repeating decimals, terminating decimals, or improper fractions, or proper fractions. All right, that is rational numbers. And anything that's irrational is not rational, integer, whole, or natural. So now that we know these, we can go in here and look. One fourth is a fraction. It's it's uh, since it is seen as a fraction here, it definitely is not natural, whole, or an integer, even though we could technically write those as fractions. But since it's neither of those uh, and it falls in the proper fraction category, it is rational. Negative 50 here. Since it's negative, it's not natural or whole, but it is an integer. Negative 50 also could be written as an improper fraction, so it is also rational. The square root of 2, since this is a square root, the square root of perfect squares come out as natural, whole, integer, and rational, so this one we would consider irrational. And 75 is positive, it has no decimal, and it could be written as a fraction, though, uh, where the denominator is 1, which pretty much makes it natural, whole, it also is an integer, and it's rational as well. And that completes all four of these, and also the practice test.